Hey everybody! Welcome to SPSS with Amy Gates. In this video, we're going to look at entering your own data into SPSS and then doing some quick analysis on that data, like making a graph or finding some descriptive statistics. The best way to enter your own data into SPSS is to click and open SPSS directly, meaning don't open it using another data file. If you open it directly, it'll bring up this nice little box and give you the option to type in data. I'm going to click that I want to do that, and then I'm going to click OK. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to create the variables that I'm going to be uh, putting in for my data. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on Variable View down on the lower left, and this allows me to build my variables. For example, let's say I'm a medical professional and I'm investigating cholesterol levels for different genders with respect to how often people take their walks every week. So maybe my first variable will be called cholesterol. Cholesterol, that's my first variable. Variable names cannot have any spaces or special characters, they're just basic words. Now when I click next to cholesterol anywhere, SPSS is going to populate with all the default values, like cholesterol is a numeric value. In this case, it's giving it two decimal places. Cholesterol is a continuous variable and can have decimals, but I'm not going to put any decimals in my measures of cholesterol, so I'm going to reduce that to zero. I don't need to label it, but if I want to, I can. And over here, the measure is actually scale, because that means it's numerical in nature. All right, for my next variable, I want to put in gender. And I'll click over here for the defaults. I'm going to leave gender as numeric. I'm going to remove the decimals. But in the case of values, I'm actually going to use categorical values, meaning I'm going to let the value 1 be female. And I'm going to add that. And I'm going to let the value 2 be male. And I'm going to add that and then click OK. So those are my gender values. So it's still numeric, but they're actually noted as, as categories. Now my measure here is called nominal because they're named or categorized. Finally, I'm going to put in hours walked, and that's going to be per week for me. Notice there's no spaces. Hours walked is numeric. And it's not going to have any decimals either, but it can. And it's also a scale. It's a continuous value. A person can walk four and a half hours in a week, and that's fine. So I don't need to create any labels. Now that I've generated three of my variables, I can click back on Data View. Here's the three variables that I've built, cholesterol, gender, and hours walked. For cholesterol, I'm going to go ahead and populate this. I'm going to put in some different cholesterol values. I'm just inventing these values, so this has nothing to do. I'm not making any medical statements or anything like that. I'm just completely inventing the values. So there's a few values for cholesterol. My gender, and look what happened there. That just happens when you switch and do variables. Don't let that alarm you. My genders are all ones and twos. So I'll place some of those in. I'm just populating some data. And hours walked. Okay, so let's say this person walks 10 hours a week. Let's say this person doesn't walk at all. This person work, walks three hours a week. This person walks one hour a week. And this person walks one hour a week. So this is going to be all of my data. This is how you enter data and variables into SPSS. I can create as many variables as I want, and I can populate those variables with as much data as I want. Now I'm ready to analyze. If I want, I can analyze descriptive statistics, frequencies, and I can analyze all my variables at once. And in this case, I want to look at the statistics. I want to see what's the mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, min, and max of all my variables. So I'll click Continue, and then I'll click OK. In this particular case, SPSS is going to generate a nice little statistics chart showing me cholesterol, gender, and hours walked per week, and all the descriptive statistics that I've chosen, such as mean, median, mode, and so on. Notice that the mean makes a lot of sense with cholesterol, but the mode doesn't make any sense for cholesterol. 
And notice similarly that the mode makes a lot of sense for gender, but not much sense for the mean of gender. So each one of these descriptive statistics is a better choice depending on your variable, and that's something to think about. Now I can also make graphs with my data. To do that, I click on Graphs, Chart Builder, and I can choose any one or more of these, and I can make some graphs. Now in our last uh, little mini how-to video, I showed a bar chart, a pie chart, and a histogram for one and for two variables. So in this one, I'm going to show you a scatter plot. So I'm going to go down and click scatter plot, and I'm going to drag that over because that's the graph I'm going to make. So let's move this over into our view so we can see everything. Now a scatter plot is a plot that allows you to look at whether or not there's a correlation or a relationship between any two variables. So this particular graph is a graph of two variables. In this case, I'm curious to see if there's a relationship between the hours a person walks and their cholesterol level. So I'm going to put hours walked in the independent area. Why? Because I want the person to say, well, what if they don't walk at all, then what's their cholesterol? Or what if they walk a lot, then what's their cholesterol? In other words, I want cholesterol to depend on the hours walked. So I drag cholesterol into the y-axis or dependent variable, and I drag hours walked into the x or independent slot. For titles, I'm just going to give myself a title here, which is going to be relationship between walking and cholesterol. I'm going to check the label of, oops, forgot to save. Yep, of course I want to save. I'll check the label of my y-axis the label of my x-axis, they're all what I want them to be, so I'm going to close and click OK. Now SPSS is going to generate my scatter plot. And you can actually see in this plot that as the hours walked starts to increase, the cholesterol level actually starts to decrease. So this shows that there is somewhat of a correlation between walking and lowering your cholesterol. So in that video, we looked at how to enter data, how to create variables, how to analyze for mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, and others, and how to create a graph called a scatter plot. Thanks for joining me.